Hello and welcome to Back to Ashes, and this is a Souls-like dark fantasy game, and if you would like to check it out, there is a link in the description. This video is kindly sponsored, and this actually has complete item generation, and I'm talking about random. So every single thing you're going to be picking up is randomized. There's socketing available in the game as well as boss resummoning. In other words, you're going to be able to fight the same bosses again for increased rewards. And of course, there is a highly customizable skill tree. So let's create a new game here. And I got to tell you, this is very much giving me hardcore Dark Souls kind of vibes. And I, I know if I say hardcore Dark Souls, I mean, you can kind of you know, kind of get from that that this is actually pretty tough. And it feels a, a very cool, it's got a very cool old school kind of retro aesthetic to it as well. At least in my opinion, I really like that aesthetic because it super ingratiates itself into the entire world. It gives you that atmosphere of harshness of grittiness and this is my character right here all right so obviously we can use f to interact and you can see here that i can't currently open the door because of course i can't i can't open the door because we're locked in ah yes and we also have some npcs here that are going to be talking as you can see as well i actually find that very interesting there is a slight little um, I don't know what you could call it, a bar at the bottom of the screen that tells you how long the conversation is actually going to take. I think that's actually really nice. Anyway, a stone appears loose, too small for the space around it, like it has been removed and refitted. And examine. And what is this? Look at this. What do we have here? It's a lockpick. Yes, indeed, it is a lockpick. So what are we going to do with the lockpick? Well, we needed one of those to be able to open the gate. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And we've got a little mini game here, a little lockpicking mini game, which I actually really like. I love this. This is also a game made by one person, by the way. So I, I, I'm just blown away every single time someone creates a game by themselves or basically any creative work, to be honest. But let's just say you know game in this in this aspect obviously but any single time someone creates something by themselves i'm always just so incredibly impressed i mean just think about it you know this literally takes a huge amount of effort huge amounts of skill to be able to do and let me just have a look see Ooh, okay nice we've got something really really cool here we've got a long sword and a wooden shield you can obviously block you can block you can dodge i rebound the keys by the way because the default keys for me were mm, a little bit uh, a little bit tricky for me to get a handle on anyway corpses with a red glow contains ashes with a spark of life interaction can give unpredictable results okay here we go okay uh what, what actually happened there i'm not entirely sure what we're gaining oh, oh no what what okay that's a that's an enemy okay hello i had no idea that was an enemy okay let me see if i can murder this thing there we go did i kill it yeah i think i did there is a lock-on system as well but i am pretty terrible at using it so do bear that in mind okay yeah that was unexpected that was actually not something that i anticipated at all anyway there's this fellow right here as you can see he has actually been tortured and he has a dagger um embedded in his torso he's also held back by um some uh some some i don't even know what some implements of some kind some sort of some some sort of torture implements anyway let's interact with him I see you found your way out of your cell that's <coughs> <coughs> ah, this damn thing my body can no longer survive and you're this bracelet still trying to keep me alive please tear it off from me He has no more use for the bracelet, so apparently he has some kind of enchanted, imbued bracelet that allows him to survive grievous bodily harm. However, the thing with this is, obviously he wants to die now. He wants to leave this mortal plane and, well, I guess we can help him with that by taking off the bracelet and using it ourselves. All 
right. And now we actually have the ability. Oh, look, there he goes. There he goes. He's actually uh, turning to ashes right before our eyes. And now we have the ability to heal ourselves. Yes, indeed. The item that he was talking about is, in fact, a healing mechanic in the game. So that's exactly what we're going to try and use. There is also a sprint, as you can see right here. Uh, by default, the uh, sprint key is space. So I obviously wanted to try and rebind that because for me, space is... I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think if you get a handle on on the um, on the controls initially, you're probably going to be absolutely fine. But for me specifically, I find shift to be a lot more natural to press. So that's why I decided, you know what, I'm just going to rebind it. And that's really cool, actually, because usually sometimes they don't allow you to rebind keys in games like this. They just, you know, say, oh, you should you just... You should just use the keybinds that we've set for you, and so on. But for me personally, I love that. I love being able to rebind the keys so that I can customize my experience further. Also, you can use a controller. The developer actually implemented controller support because people were asking for it. And the developer seems to be extremely interactive and very... Um, very welcoming of feedback and suggestions and so on and so forth. And they will try to implement basically anything that uh, the community is asking for. So that's really, really nice in my opinion. Otherwise, let's pick this up. We've got a couple of extra lockpicks right here. I'm actually just wondering if there are any secrets around here as well. And I've got to be careful as well because I, uh, I actually mistakenly, before when I had my healing ability, I used it by mistake because of the controls at the time. Because I was consistently wanting to press tab to look at my inventory, but tab was actually use item at that point. I've now re since rebound that key, so it shouldn't be a problem any longer. Now, what you in for? Hey, try to rob some bun? Are you just a rebel like I am? Ah, it don't matter either way. Been a while since the helmet's been this worked up. Wish I could see their faces right now. Way out is that long tunnel with bars to your right after this corridor. Think it'll be locked, though. You're gonna want to find the guy who has the key. Just keep moving, and you'll find your way. Knock some heads on the way, too, friend. No problem. Don't worry about me for now. Get out. Afraid I don't know how to get out yet. Myself, but nothing stopped me yet. See ya! All right, what a what a strange individual he is. Yes, indeed. But uh, thankfully, there we go. All right, now we have the opportunity to fight our first opponent. As you can see, there he is. He's coming. He's coming for us. Let's do this. I'm uh, I'm a bit worried about actually fighting because, um, as I say, I'm not the best at this game. Got to got to tell you. All right, I'm just gonna heal myself real quick. There we go. It's heal over time, by the way, so you can actually fight while you are uh, while you're healing. So that's also something to bear in mind. So it's not an instant heal or anything like that. It is over time. Ooh, I actually got a cursed kilt. All right. So to access your character equipment and so on on the keyboard, at least you have to press C. That is very very natural for me. So I left that the way it is. And as you can see, we have a variety of different things. We also have a carry weight here as well, so do bear that in mind. So if you're thinking, oh, okay, you know, there's no carry weight or whatever. No, 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 there actually is. And look at this. Oh, we're actually getting some adrenaline restored after kill. And we're also getting some additional vitality. Very nice indeed. Okay. We also have a number of different trinkets here as well. Trinkets are the usable items that I currently have. I, um, I already used one of my... Uh, one of my charges for the trinket. I'm actually wondering, does it regenerate from kills? Let's actually just have a look here. Given by the stranger in the prison outpost, this bracelet is actually a living, living organism dependent on a host to survive. Its relationship with its host is symbiotic, as it grants the host healing abilities to ensure their mutual survival. Once attached, it pierces the skin of its host with its sharp needles. For this reason, it is speculated that it feeds on human blood. According to the stranger, it is an heirloom, and likely from many hundred years before. Nothing from uh, nothing is known of its origin, or whether it serves some greater purpose. Oh, okay. Well, that's actually very cool. I love the flavor text in these kinds of games. I really do. Because it just provides you so much additional immersion, and I don't know. It just it, It's just really nice. I like it. Anyway, let's have a look here. 
It's a weekly report to the High Commander. The letter is not finished. Oh, okay. Very good to know. And uh, we should probably be opening some of these chests, shouldn't we? There we go. We got some scraps. Got some lockpicks. I can actually destroy all of the barrels as well, by the way. Not sure if the barrels have anything in them. I have played the game a little bit before actually starting the episode here. But um, I didn't actually destroy the barrels beforehand. Ooh, we can't get past the bars here. So the, um, the prisoner actually told us about going along the corridor and uh, that's that's apparently what I've done but no apparently it's not really going to work out too well for me right here anyway let's just do the lockpick minigame real fast I personally like I like these kinds of minigames it, it you know it gives me uh, gives me Elder Scrolls vibes and things like that and I very much like that anyway let's uh, let's make our way onward can I use this lever no no it's gonna require the key to activate so for me personally, I feel like it has a little bit of a Metroidvania sort of element to it. Because, as you can quite clearly tell, there are certain areas that we can't access just yet. And I'm going to assume that we will probably be able to access, th access those as time goes on. And as we gain additional equipment and access to additional abilities and things like that. So, for example, let's say, um, you know, we're going to need a key to be able to activate all of these levers well once we have the key then we're going to be able to access all these new areas and further our exploration and wait a minute <laughs> this is the same place that i was in before okay let's not go up here then all right so where do i actually go then i'm going to assume i need to go this way yes there we go this is the way that i needed to go wonderful and of course there is a dodge mechanic and a block mechanic as well this guy is going to be pretty easy i think uh, i mean he should be pretty easy for us because he doesn't have a shield so there you go super nice and simple Ooh, we got a rune okay i'm actually not entirely sure what to do with runes um let me see is there something okay hello there applicable to one-handed weapons daggers two-handed weapons and helmets okay well i don't think i have any of that actually I just have a long sword. I don't have a helmet or anything like that. I don't have a two-handed sword. And I don't have a dagger. So it seems like I won't be able to do that. But um, yeah, by the way, this is the skill tree. If you um, <laughs> if you wanted to take a look at it, it's pretty extensive. Yes, there is actually a scroll as well. You can literally just go anywhere you want with this. This is actually kind of incredible. Um, I would love to go for kind of like a bleed build. Usually I am very much a person that loves damage over time effects and so on and so forth in these kinds of games in any RPG basically um, so you know if I can find something that is going to inflict poison or bleeding or burning or something like that then I'm going to be extremely pleased as you can see look at this when you inflict burning damage you additionally inflict poison I mean how can I say no to that yeah I, w I would love that that sounds super super fun okay so wait a minute let me see oh no there's nothing I can do here all right, seems like I'm going to have to... Oh, hello. Oh, no. All right, yeah. So I actually do take partial damage when... Um... Oh, he's healing? Okay, fine. If you're going to heal, then I'm going to heal, sir. Okay, let's, let's, let's take him down. Let's take him down. I've got to be careful here. Oh, he's healing once again. Are you serious, sir? That is not allowed. Yes, you, you, are, now, you are now out of here. Thank you very much. You are disqualified for healing twice. <laughs> but yes, the NPCs can heal quite often, as you can quite clearly tell. And uh, they are um, very wily with it as well. They seem to be extremely eager to survive, which I find extremely refreshing. I don't know. Because usually if I were to play a game like Dark Souls or something like that, usually NPCs don't really heal that often or if they do it takes them a while to actually get to the action but these guys they're literally just going for it you know anyway let's have a look here ah here we go okay so this is an altar that can basically provide us with a small buff so for example let's say i want life regeneration or damage output resistances next fatal blow you receive does not kill you but reduces health to one and grants a shelter effect in other words the next hit is absorbed for me personally, I'm probably going to be taking increased item drop chance and fatal blow. 
um, because this is just incredible. For 100 ash, I have 350 ash right now, so we're just going to take that. And we will take the item drop chance. I'm actually wondering whether I should take damage increase. 15% damage increase? That sounds pretty good, right? Yeah, let's take the damage increase as well. I mean, I don't know whether it's actually worth me doing that, but... I'm, I'm kind of thinking maybe, you know, it might be kind of cool. Anyway, I've got to, I've got to book it now. I've got to go pretty fast because we do have a bit of a time limit of 15 minutes with all of these buffs. So I would like to make the most of those as best I can. And you've got to bear in mind that there are going to be numerous enemies. There are, there are going to be more enemies um you know coming coming at us at the same time you know it's not just going to be one enemy at a time from now on so we're probably going to be fighting two maybe even three at once hello sir do you want to fight me sir yes there we go you do want to fight let's do this okay now i'm just not, i'm just going to damage him a little bit just going to damage him a little bit and then we're just going to do some more damage to this guy He's dead. He's dead. And can we get him dead? Yes. He was trying to heal, but no. We will not allow him to do that. Thank you very much. Okay, so look look at how much we're getting right now. Item drop chance increase seems to be paying off quite nicely here. What do we have here? Oh, no. Okay, well, if you want to read this, you can pause it and you can read it. But for me personally, uh, I'm not going to do that right now because I do have the time limit of my... Um, of my buffs, so I would like to try to make sure that I make the most of those. Key to the Fisher. Aha! There we go. Okay, so I actually found the key already. That is very nice indeed. And what about this? Oh, hello. That is much better than what I'm using, I think. Yep, look at that. It actually has a socket as well. Very nice. Okay, so that means that I can put runes in there, you see? So that's the, that's the unique socketing system that they've got going on in this game. So, for example, you can see here, look at this. Extra ashes from kills applicable to helmet, shield, leggings, chest, staff. Unfortunately, not going to be able to use this on here. Yeah. That's kind of sad, isn't it? Uh, do we have the other one? Uh, applicable to one-handed weapon, daggers, and all that stuff. Yeah, that's not really going to work, unfortunately. Did I just drop that? Did I just... No, I didn't. I, I just I just unequipped it. Okay, so that's absolutely fine. I'm actually not entirely sure how to socket right now. I'm going to assume that socketing is probably done at an NPC or something along those lines. So I might have to find one to be able to make that work. But thankfully, we now have the key, or at least I assume this is the key that we needed to be able to open up these various areas. And so I'm going to make my way back upstairs, and then we're going to see if I can actually do that. Here we go. Hello there. Oh no, it still requires the key to activate. Oh no. Okay, well, maybe there are a number of other things that are activatable. Maybe... Uh, do I, do I actually... Wait a minute. I do have the key, right? Yeah, there, there's the key. Do I do I need to equip it? Do I need to specifically equip it or something like that? I don't think so, right? No. No, I, I wouldn't have thought that. But, you know, it's it's got that old school vibe, you know? The game has the old school vibe, so I'm kind of thinking, well, may, maybe, you know? Maybe I would have to activate the key or use it or something like that. Okay, so... Maybe it's not going to activate the levers themselves, but maybe it will activate something else. Maybe I can open this. No, for this fellow. No, that's not going to work. Hmm. Maybe over here. Ah, there we go. I found the way. All right, so it is actually this door that the key to the fissure opens. You know, the one where we went down those flights of stairs and then... We uh, saw that that uh, that door, and obviously I didn't have any way to get in there, so I just ignored it for the moment. But yeah, anyway, we have now reached the new area. What is this? That looks creepy. Hello there. Ah, this is our lower floor checkpoint. Okay, so this is the dead emissary, and the checkpoints can be used to quickly travel between area locations or maps. So I can rest here if we want to. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Apparently there is a survival mode in the game as well, as you could quite clearly tell from that, uh, that tip there. So that's actually very cool. If you combine two items, apparently that can unlock survival mode. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what it said there, but you can go back and pause the video if you so desire. Anyway, we're going to go and... Ooh, hello. 
We have a necklace. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, maybe the necklace is actually going to be kind of useful for us. I automatically equipped it, but it doesn't seem to have any sockets or anything like that. But it does say that it can be enchanted with powerful magic. So maybe we're going to get something going on there. But otherwise, let us now traverse to the next area. Going to be very interested to see if I can earn enough ash to be able to... Oh, hello. If I can earn enough ash to be able to uh, spend some skill points, I would love to be able to do that. Oh, hello. I hear some screams in the distance. Hopefully they're not going to want to murder me too soon. Thank you very much. I mean, I do have a checkpoint now, so technically, even if I do die, I'm only back there, so that's not particularly bad. We have a journal as well, which is a little bit of lore for the game. Very nice for the world that we are inhabiting. Pile of ashes, that is a consumable. Okay, nothing else going on here. We can go around. Oh, hello, wait a minute. I thought that was an enemy for a second, but no. I'm a bit jumpy, you see, I'm a bit jumpy because this is very tight corridor-esque and uh, whoa, these guys are, uh... aha, yeah, oh, wait a minute, are they enemies? Were, were they enemies right there? Yeah, they were actually enemies. Okay, I had no idea. All right, I was basically just hitting them as a matter of course. But apparently they were enemies that died relatively fast. So that's not too bad, I suppose. Anyway, Pile of Ashes is what we gained right there, which is actually quite nice. I don't know how many ashes we're going to gain from that. But hopefully... Um, I'm going to say hopefully 500. But no, no, I, I doubt we're going to get that many from it. Yeah, it's going to be one of those things, isn't it? It's going to be one of those things that you get a, a huge amount of, and then you think, oh, yes, it's going to give me 10. No, it won't give you 10, I don't think. Okay, wait a minute. We just came from down there, so if I go up... Okay, seems like this particular area of the dungeon has been taken over by something. And, whoa, okay, hello. Okay, there's a skeleton over there. This thing I, is going to die. Thank you very much. I, I literally, I'm not, I'm not la leaving anything to chance. I am not leaving anything to chance. If anything decides to stand in my path and I'm thinking to myself, oh, that's creepy, I'm going to hit it, all right? That's what I'm going to do. We want to make sure of that. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Okay, you want to murder me? Well, that's absolutely fine, but, well, you are... Quite easy to, to dispatch, which is nice. Living Ashes. It's a resource. Okay. Did that actually give me HP? I think that might have healed me, actually. Anyway, we've got a lockpick as well. That's always quite useful. All right. There we go. Nothing else here. I, I'm actually unsure whether my lockpicks get used up when I use them in a lockpicking minigame. If I am successful in my efforts because if that is indeed the case then i should be oh no hello let me just uh, let me just dodge away oh no you can finish knock down enemies by using attack while standing close okay that's actually something to bear in mind as well enemies can sometimes regenerate naturally by themselves apparently so it would probably be a good idea for me to take note of that because if they are indeed going to regenerate as a result of me not finishing them off then I'm going to be quickly overwhelmed if I'm unable to do that. Okay, wait, what's that? Oh, uh, there's a guard down there. All right. Yeah, this this really gives me such old school dungeon crawling RPG vibes. I love that. That is so so cool. Okay, wait a minute. What's what's going on here? Okay, these guys these guys are nothing. Oh, oh this guy, this guy has a shield. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Get out of here. Not a big fan of you, sir. Yeah, that, that guy is dead. Oh, and I got hit. Okay, well, uh, he's caused bleeding on me right now. Which is not very nice of him, but, you know. I kind of want to have a bleed effect as well. Can you give me your weapon, sir? No, he doesn't want to give me his weapon. That's very sad. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, can, can I get through there somehow? There must be a way to get in there. Yes, just by opening the gate. What an imbecile I am. Yes, indeed. What an imbecile. All right, well, let me just open this up. Linen scraps, okay. Hmm. That's obviously going to be, for, you know, for the crafting system, I assume. Obsidian ore. And this guy is not a real one. No, no. We, we should be fine there. Oh, hello. Wait a minute. Careful. 
Careful. Yep, look at this. We've got this thing. What is this thing? I don't even know what this is. It's just some weird amalgamation of remnants from uh, some living entity that has perished there or something like that. Okay, so we have a choice now. Do we go up or do we go down? I think we're going to go up first. And then we'll see what's up here. Please, please a dead end. Please a dead end. With a really, really valuable item. Something like that. That would be nice. Pile of ashes. Okay, more of those is always useful. What's that over there? That's a guard of some kind. Wait! Wait! Say your sword! I'm not one of them! I look like this! But I'm a person! Oh, thank goodness. It's been ever so long since I've seen another human being. Well, someone who's willing to talk. I'm Loretta. I ended up stuck here a bit too long and, well, beauty doesn't last, I guess. Now I can't leave this place. Thankfully, I've kept my wits about but me. But I'll need your help. Give me ash. Anything you can spare, and I'll provide services for you in return. I picked up a few things here and there. Relics, equipment, as well as information. I'm sure it'll become useful to you, sir. Right, okay, so apparently she is an NPC and we can actually trade with her. Okay, I'm going to do that. So let's have a look and see what we can get. Okay, what is this? Ashes from the living tree. Emerald eye is 4,000. Okay, never going to be able to afford that. Scroll of rage, very, very expensive. What is ashes of the living tree? Let's have a look. Living trees can be found only in ashen realms. These mysterious trees seem to feed with life essence of other beings. Not much is known about their origin, especially... These, no, uh, and they don't produce seeds. All right, all right, okay, good to know. Mm, I personally don't think any of this is going to be that useful for me. I mean, obviously, this is a trinket, right? This would be amazing for us to use because, as you can see, it increases our weapon damage, has a 15-second cooldown, uh, cleanses one condition from the player, and removes one boon from enemies in the area. This is also fantastic, but I... Um, Ooh, that's really cool. All right, the ring is really cool too for uh, a spellcaster build. I'm, I'm not currently a spellcaster. I don't have any um, any spells right here, but I'm going to assume that it's going to be really nice for us to potentially buy something. It gives some Thank ashes. You, sir. Okay. Mm, okay, so we gave some ashes. I, I have no idea how many we gave. Well, I'm going to open this up. Oh, need a key to open this chest. I actually wonder whether killing her would allow us to get the uh, to get the key for the chest. But not sure if she's going to be useful for me right now. I don't have enough. Um, I surely do not have enough ashes to be able to uh, afford anything that she's selling, which is kind of sad. But, well, can't really do much about that. And, um, yeah, we're going to obviously move on then. And uh, hopefully she's not going to attack me Patches style. Who knows? Yes. <laughs> uh, you never know about these kinds of things, right? Okay. Oh, we got, whoa, we got a huge amount of exploration to do here. Okay, I'm going to go down here first because this seems like a dead end. Yeah. It, oh, wait, wait. No, no, we might be able to. No, no, we're going to need the key to be able to activate this. Okay, that's good to know as well. So, once again, more um, more exploration required to get to get that key. Pile of ashes. We're getting a lot of these. I still wonder how much we're going to get from it. So, I think I might actually decide to use one. Oh, hello. Oh. Nice finishing move. There we go. I like that. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm actually going to heal myself right here. I'm just going to be a little bit careful about things. Don't really want to end up dying. And I'm just going to eliminate these guys. You never know what's going to happen. Okay. So we got another one of these. Okay. So, yeah, this is actually pretty nice. I've got 900 right here. So, hmm. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. So, increase item chance. Uh, next fatal blow, and we might as well increase our damage output a little bit. I'm going to assume I'm going to be fighting 
quite a bit here. Uh, what we want to do as well, though, is actually use... Where are the usables? Where are the... Uh, where are the... Uh, the ashes? Do they... Do, oh, wait a minute. Do they get used automatically? Oh, they might actually just get used automatically. I thought that they were things that you could, you know, consume. Um, but no, no. Apparently, they are literally just instant pickups. Okay, so that's good to know. Okay, I don't know how much damage I'm doing when I don't lock on to people, so I should probably lock on a lot more. Gonna just eliminate these. You never know. Pile of ashes. Yeah, I think indeed that is just an instant use. Okay, so that's good to know. Three kills, or three, shall we say, three hits result in a kill. This guy is gonna be an archer, so let's just take him out real fast. That was easy enough, wasn't it? Just want to make sure that we do not, uh... Don't get ourselves too um, too ambushed here. So I want to make sure that we eliminate the archer as soon as possible. Got another lockpick here as well. What else is over here? Aha! There's a chest. Oh dear! I'm doing a lockpicking mini game while there could be could be could be some people nearby. You know they might want to murder me. Let's uh, let's try not to have that happen. I would be. Very, very saddened if I were to get murdered now. Okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute. What do we have here? We got a new rune. Two-handed weapon, dagger. Yeah, none of none of what I have is actually going to be good for this, unfortunately. Maybe we'll actually find a two-handed weapon or something like that. As I say, we're going to need to find, in my opinion at least, I think we'll probably need to find an NPC to be able to level up. I thought that maybe that, um, uh, that one back there, Loretta, I thought maybe she would be the one to actually do that. Oh, look at that. I already found a checkpoint. Now, let's see what happens if I rest. I'm wondering whether the enemies will come back. Because if they do come back, that's not particularly bad for me. Because I still have my damage buffs. Aha! Yes, I still have my damage buffs. I still have the ability to um, gain some pretty good resources from these guys. And... We are going to get a lot of items, and hopefully this guy's not going to... Ah, yeah, he got me. Yeah, he got me. I was a bit too slow there. I'm just going to heal myself because I want to actually test this out. I want to test the theory out that killing enemies does actually regenerate the charges of the healing item. I'm not sure whether that is indeed the case, so that would be good to test. It doesn't seem like it. Maybe I have to kill a certain amount of enemies because I... I could swear that before I used a charge from it, and then it actually did regenerate. Hmm. I'm not sure. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to see when it comes back. If it does at all, it might not. You know. So I might be giving myself a bit of a disadvantage here by running into potential enemies. As you can see, this guy, for example, running into potential enemies without um, regenerating myself. Ah, oh, no, no. There we go. Living ashes. Okay, so wait a minute. So, living ashes are the thing that you can pick up that gives you a charge of your healing item. Because as you can see, my healing item now has three charges once again, which is the maximum that I can currently have. There's an archer right there. I'm just going to heal myself just in case. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting that archers only take two hits to kill. Okay, so there's nothing over here. You never know, you know. There, there could be a, a secret or two in some corner or another. And, oh, hello. This is a big guy with a big axe. Can you drop that big axe, sir? I would actually very much appreciate that. Yeah, living ashes once again. And as you can see, I have now regenerated the charges, which is great. Unfortunately, it seems as though these guys were trying to get in here. I'm going to assume this is a boss. I'm going to assume this is a boss. What do you bet? This looks like a boss room to me. Um, you bet, you think I'm gonna die? You think I'm gonna die? Let's try it out. Okay, just gonna pick this up. This guy wants to murder me, as you can see. Let's try and avoid his attacks. There we go. Oh, yes. And nice little stabby stab. There we go. Another lockpick. Okay, so wait a minute. Not a boss? Okay, I'm kind of surprised. I thought, mm, this definitely looks like a boss room. Okay, yeah, but here we go. We may, may, maybe there is. A, I think there maybe is a boss actually. Seems like there might be. Okay, I'm just gonna finish him off. I am actually getting shot by the archer at the same time, but thankfully it seems like I have. Uh, I'm not sure if I have invulnerability frames while I am doing my execution move. 
If I am having invulnerability frames, then that's absolutely fantastic. Love that. Um, because it, it, there's nothing more annoying than doing an execution and getting attacked while you're stuck in the animation. You know what I mean? So it's really nice that they have not decided to make you vulnerable. Or at least, I don't know, maybe... Maybe I just got lucky or something. I, I'm not sure. But whatever the case, let's open up the chest and see what's in here. Ooh, we're getting so much cool stuff. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I think I need to upgrade some of my gear because it seems to me like I actually did gain some extra things. Let me have a look. Leather boots. Aha, yes, we have this. Okay, so what is this? This gives me more, more vitality. Okay, I'm already using that. And we also have the Amulet of Heart, which gives me 8% bonus healing. All right, so that item was literally just living ashes just to regenerate ourselves. I'm going to assume that maybe they placed a bunch of healing items in this area because this is indeed going to be a boss. Are you real, says the spirit. It's been so long since I've seen anything alive. You are the first. I died long, long ago. I remember that moment, yet I do not know why I remain perceiving this reality. This world is frozen. Time does not flow anymore. Perhaps this is the reason I remain trapped. I have no purpose here. If you do not mind, I will follow you. Okay. Uh, I'm fine with that, as long as you, uh, you don't do a little bit of backstabby-stabby. Are you... Are you going to follow me now? Oh, look at this. Oh, hello. Okay, so we have a spirit. I have no idea what that means. Bear that in mind. I have no idea what that means, but I am excited to find out. Yeah, it seems like, uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe this will help us to access some kind of other mechanism. Okay, so I actually came down here from there. And I believe... Yeah, we're going to... Yeah, of course we're going to get attacked. Take out that guy. There's another one. Hello. Oh, he actually... Oh, no. He's going to heal. Get get out of here. No, 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 no. Okay, I don't have enough stamina to be able to deal with this fellow. So I'm actually just going to run away a little bit. There we go. And we got living ashes once again. Okay, so we're getting pretty lucky with the amount of healing. I actually, as I say, I actually thought that they were giving me healing just because they were thinking I was going to fight a boss. But then I remembered, you know what? It's all random. It's all random. The item generation is random. So, obviously, nothing is going to be the same every single time you play. It's going to all be different. And it, so it seems like I came down here just purely to get this spirit. So that's intriguing me now. Because now I'm thinking, well, what, what am I going to do? What, what does that mean, you know? What is that, what is that actually going to give me? But that's the mystery behind Souls-like games in general. You're obviously going to be getting a, a variety of uh, mystery and, and immersion and atmosphere and things just randomly. And then you're going to have to figure out what's going on with that stuff. There we go. Nice little execution there. And there's a bowman. Thankfully, I can avoid his arrows relatively simply. Don't shoot. Ah, you. Yeah, of course he would get me right at the end there. A skeletal helmet, yes, yes, and also uh, the game does have auto-equip as well, which I very much appreciate because that means that we are able to um, pick up new gear and then that gear is just automatically put on, which I, I very much appreciate. Okay, so there is actually something over here because these enemies or remnants of enemies were looking in this direction, so I'm going to assume... Wait a minute, it said not enough adrenaline? What? Why did it say not enough adrenaline right there? Do I have to hit this? I'm, I'm wondering whether there's an invisible wall here because they were looking towards this area. Apparently not. Okay, that's... Mm, that, that, that's also weird because I'm thinking to myself they were looking towards that area very specifically. And usually, from what I've observed so far... Usually that would denote, you know, some kind of uh, some kind of secret or some kind of mechanism or something like that that we can potentially access. Okay, I'm being shot at from here. Let's just avoid that guy. Thank you. I don't have my buffs anymore, which is kind of sad. Okay, so these guys once again 
Uh, okay, maybe maybe they're actually just placed there just randomly, and they're not actually placed there for any particular reason. But I'm thinking that maybe, you know, maybe these things are just placed there just as a, a decoy, you know? They're just placed there because maybe maybe there is something there that one time, and then you don't check because you think, oh, yes, oh, no, it doesn't seem like anything's there any, any other time. And then that one time that you don't check, there is, you know, and it's the most powerful item in the game or something like that. Anyway, this guy is obviously an NPC. Right? Or he's a boss. I'm a, I'm very worried about this guy. I don't have my damage increases or anything like that any further, so I am kind of worried. But thankfully, we're not doing too badly. I'm full HP. I should be completely fine. I'm wondering whether the spirit is actually going to go into this guy's body. Ah, use ashes to revive. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, that's a very cool mechanic. I love that. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me just let me just make sure I'm not missing anything over here. Let me just lockpick this. There we go. That was a nice and easy one, wasn't it? Okay, so oh wait a minute. Hello. Okay, that is perfect. We've got some wonderful things right there. Okay, so what did we actually get? Sharpened Night Sword. Okay, so the sword I'm using at the moment is superior quality. But, as you can quite clearly tell, it is not better. It is not better than what we were using. Okay, so can I actually put two swords? Can I dual wield? No, I don't think I can dual wield or anything like that. Okay, so... Um, can I, can I actually do will? No, no, I don't think so. Anyway, uh, what did I actually get otherwise? Uh, I got the Ring of Brilliance. I'm already using that. That gives me intelligence. So if I do find something that allows me to cast spells, then I will be able to benefit from that because I'm going to assume that intelligence is the spell casting stat. And uh, I guess we're going to use Ashes to revive this fellow. How many am I using? I have no idea. Is it, a, is it an enemy or is it a person? Oh, it's an enemy. Of course it's an enemy. Uh, how, how would... Uh, come on. How would I think it's anything else? Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm just, I'm just trying to... Right now, I'm just trying to learn this guy's moves. Oh, we did it. Okay. Whew. That was a bit close, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I... Well, te okay, okay. Technically, not not too close. But for me personally, yeah. I, I thought, you know, I did all right, you know? I mean, I used all my healing, you know, which is not exactly great. But yeah, you know. I, I, I mean, I think generally any single fight that you can walk away from, that's that's pretty that's pretty fine. In my opinion. I have no idea what I even picked up, to be honest. I was just so incredibly pleased that I um, achieved victory there. I'm going to assume this. I picked up this. Mysterious item created by past civilizations. Contains high valuable alloy of materials. Can be used to enhance equipment up to plus four. Okay, so crafting materials. That is nice. All right. 
Well, uh, let's continue on with then. So that was basically, I'm going to assume like an optional boss or maybe it was actually a boss or something like that. I, I'm not entirely sure, but technically what I can do, I think it was probably a boss, right? It seemed like a boss. I mean, he had massive amounts of HP, so it kind of makes sense that he would be a boss. Okay, so we've already gone down here. And that means that I have gone everywhere that we can so far. Now I can go back here and we can rest. Let's do that. Now let me see if I can actually spend some of my traits. So for example, you can see here I have dexterity, we have strength, we have wisdom, and we have intelligence. So I'm going to see if I can actually spec some stuff. Because I actually thought that maybe I'd need an NPC to be able to spend this. But I don't think that actually is the case. So let me actually just spend that. Yeah, as you can see, look at this. I could have done this the whole time. Okay, so let me just spend some for strength. Uh, hmm. I guess we're going to get more strength here. Okay, we're going to need a lot of ashes to be able to get to where we want to be. Uh, that's a statistic bonus. Endurance. Yeah, we're going to go for some more endurance. That's going to cost me 900, which is absolutely fine. Because generally, I just want to have more stats. Yes, just give me more stats to do more damage. Okay, so obviously these guys... There, I was actually hoping that I would be able to kill these guys in two hits now. But unfortunately, no. It seems like three hits is the is the average, which is absolutely fine. But um, what I'm actually intrigued by is... Where, where is the spirit? Ah, oh, I still have the spirit with me. Okay, so that's nice. Now, yes, look at this. This guy is still here, but now he is um, resummonable. So technically, what I can do is I can use ashes to be able to resummon him, and then we could fight him again if we so desire. Which I think is very cool. I like that. And that is indeed a uh, special mechanic in this game. So you are going to be able to do that. I'm hopeful that I will actually be able to uh, gain some HP from someone. Uh, maybe from some of these guys. There we go. Did I get it? No, I didn't get anything. No. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe this guy. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm just going to go over here behind the little pillar. Just going to heal myself real fast. And then we're just going to go after the archer. Okay, he didn't give me anything. Ooh. All right. I'm not sure if I'm even going to be able to achieve victory here. Or even, even if I'm able to revive him. But yes. I guess we... I mean, shall we try? Yeah, you can see here, I can use Ashes to revive him once again. I mean, technically, I could do that. Let's do it. Why not? Let's see what happens. Because I kind of know his attack pattern now, so maybe he's not really going to be that surprising to me. Okay, that was a new attack pattern right there. much easier this time oh we got a great sword look at that we got his great sword okay hello thank you very much i will be using that immediately oh yes ah uh, yeah i got this actually this is the thing uh this is the other thing that he actually dropped beforehand and as you can see positive effects duration plus 15 percent physical resistance when below 50 percent hp plus 12 percent and you also have all of the other stats to look at there physical damage block magical damage block and so on and so forth and as you can see in comparison to the wooden shield that i was using before it is a lot better you even have the ability to bash with this shield as well but i now have a great sword and i am kind of excited about it although it is extremely slow let's see how much damage it actually does 
I'm gonna fight this guy and see what happens. Okay, I was able to knock him down. And then we can do a little bit of an execution there, but... I'm not sure if I really like the greatsword, I gotta say. Yeah, if I can't kill archers in two, in, well, in one hit, then I'm not sure if that's really worth it. I mean, you can have a look here. It does 41 damage. And you can see the scaling as well on it. So you can see the scaling for strength is very good. And it has knockback, it has stability and all that stuff. So basically, um, I'm going to assume stability might be like poise from, from Dark Souls. So it basically gives you a bit of resistance when you get hit. I think I'm probably going to go back to this. And I'm going to use my new shield because this is actually a pretty cool shield, I think. Seems kind of fun to use. So yeah, there you go. So basically what you can do is you can literally go and you can... Uh, fight that guy again and again and again so as you can see some bosses have options of resummoning after beating their 10th level you apparently gain something from that so that's actually something to bear in mind and actually what i would like to do is i would like to take a look at the controls here because there is a, an additional thing that i'd like to use let me see special main hand special offhand okay so q and e q and e so if I do not enough adrenaline to do that, not enough adrenaline to do that. Oh, okay. So apparently I need to get more endurance or something like that to be able to have enough stamina to be able to do it. Right. Okay. Well, that's that's good to know. That's good to know. Anyway, I have 817 ashes. I'm not entirely sure if... I mean, technically I could fight that guy another eight times. I think I could probably do it pretty easily now. And you would then gain something special for defeating their 10th level. So, in my opinion, that's actually a very cool way of doing things. Because if you want to grind and you want to do a little bit of extra challenge here and there, you could obviously do that. For me personally, I would like to explore a bit more. So, I'm going to be going the other direction now. And we're going to go uh, probably, uh, what was it? We went uh, we went up before, didn't we? So we're going to be going downstairs this time around. So once I get back into the the stairwell, if I can actually find the stairwell, daddy. Oh, hello there. I forgot about you, sir. There we go. Just stabby, stabby. A little bit of stabby, stabby action here for that fellow. And we can now interact with this. Okay. Oh, this is a lot more expensive now. Okay. This is a lot more expensive. I actually... Okay. Wait a minute. I just realized. Okay. It is more expensive because we have leveled ourselves up. That's the reason. Okay. That actually makes sense. So that makes me think, you know what? Maybe it's actually a good idea not to level yourself up for a, a pretty good amount of time. Because maybe at that point, you might have good amounts of resources. You know what I mean? Like, for example, let's say that you fight that uh, that Ashen Knight back there. You know, the one with the two-handed. Uh, actually, this is the, the way that I just came. So, um, yeah. But let's say you fight that two-handed weapon fellow. And you're fighting him at level one. But you have the increased item drop chance. You're literally just going to be getting gaining so many items from him. It's going to be amazing. So, might be something to consider. Ah, and we're back here at Loretta. Okay, so I see. So, this is Loretta back here. So, if I go that way. No, we've already gone this way. Have we gone this way before? No, it doesn't seem like it. There is an item here. Ah, Living Ashes. Okay. That is kind of useful, but not really for me right now. Okay, there we go. We've got uh, enough stamina. Ooh, hello, leather boots. Okay, give me that. These are looking real nice. Look at this. Yes, thank you. They have uh, they have two sockets in as well, hilariously enough. So I'm actually wondering, how do I socket stuff? Do I socket stuff like this? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so any single time there's a socketed item, you just right-click on it, and then you can select a rune to insert. Obviously, I don't have anything that can go into boots right now, so this is yeah, kind of a, a moot point. However, I do have a helmet, and we, we know 100% that we have some runes that can 
you know, be applied to this. So this is actually going to be really nice. Should we go for critical? Or should we go for extra ashes from kills? I think we should probably go for extra ashes from kills. I'm kind of looking forward to that. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Hello there. Any extra ashes I can get, that is going to be... That is going to be real nice. You know, I want to try and level up as, as fast as I possibly can. And um, maybe I maybe I should have killed that two-handed guy a bit more. I don't know. Yeah, so Loretta's back in there. We've gone over there. That's just a, a dead end. Our spirit friend is following us. And... Okay, I don't think we've been up here. And I don't think we've been over here either. But let me just go and explore it. No, that is... Okay, never mind. That is the same exact way that I've gone twice now. So let me not do that again, shall I? Yes. I am... Um, I'm getting a little bit mixed up. And this is Loretta once more. Okay, so... That means... That when I go here... I should go... Not that way, but I should go this way upstairs. Yes, here we go. Okay, this is perfect. Pile of ashes. They were trying to get in here. Obviously, that requires a key to activate. Okay, yeah. So it seems like we have explored all of what we can do down here, at least from what I can tell. Maybe... I'm probably missing something. Let's face it. I am probably missing something, but it's... Um, Good to know. There is something weird and disturbing in this tree. Upon touch, or, or should we say, upon touching its bark, it reacts and roots seems to move slightly. This is definitely not something you have ever seen before. Okay, so in other words, this tree is alive in some way or another. And probably is going to kill us. What is this guy? Oh, and so another wanderer appears. It's only been an hour for near sake. This place is dangerous. For you to be here, I'm not sure whether it's courage or recklessness. My apologies. It's easy to forget your manners these days. I'm Legger. Another traveler like yourself passed by a while ago. Went to the cave, the floor below, but... Yeah, he's probably dead by now. Or regretting his choices in life. I warned him. Twice, even. Hmm, taking a closer look, you do seem like you have some idea what the blade is. Would you care to pass the time with some sparring? It's quite dull around here. Ooh, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so we can accept the duel. Um, I, I'm going to assume that if I accept the duel, he's probably going to be awarding us something amazing, or uh, maybe he's just going to try and kill us because he doesn't really like us, you know, doing that. I don't know, but let's try it. Huh. Great. Okay, here we go. Oh, he's just imbued his weapon. All right. Uh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good for me. He's got a two-handed, though, so I should have the advantage a slight bit. At least in terms of speed. was impressive. It's been a while since I've clashed with someone of your skill. You've still much to learn, of course, but I see some potential. Hmm. Take this charm. He has special abilities, a warrior's favorite. I got in a similar situation a long time ago, but it seems like it's time for a change in membership. Oh, and this key. I think you're looking for it, right? Good luck. Ah, there we go. All right. So is this the guy that literally had the key the whole time? Because he was just he was just lazing around. He was just leaning against the, the rock there. All right. Well, that's really, really nice of him. I'm very surprised that he was actually so helpful. And uh, yeah, I guess we are now going to be taking a look at the various things that he gave me. So what did he actually give me again? He gave me... Um... He gave me... What, what What did he actually give me? Because I'm not... Oh, see, now this is exactly what I'm talking about. I always forget what people give me for some reason. Don't know why that happens, but I'm not seeing anything that he gave me, so I'm going to assume 
that I just equipped. Yeah, okay, so I just equipped it. It is a new trinket. Okay, wonderful. So that basically means one additional charge per four character levels up to 10 charges given by Legar the Lone Wolf. Dragon scales and fangs are known for their special abilities, but this talisman is something more upon touching it. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh-huh. It's something more. Upon touching it, the wearer experiences a burst of adrenaline going through their body. Powerful magic was, must work within it. Nothing is known of its origin beyond it being a warrior's possession at one point. Okay, so we can change our trinkets by... Uh, well, I rebound the keys. Um, so for me, it's X. But uh, I think generally it would be shift and control, I think. That's what would uh, that would be that would change it by default. But obviously, as I say, the game has completely rebindable key, re rebindable keys. So it's actually fantastic. So yeah, um, so that has three charges. I don't know what it does. Shall we try it out? Okay, I I have no idea what that just did. But I have two pips down below. I, I don't know what that means. I guess we'll find out, but now we can open these. Yes, look at this. Now we can open these gates. Okay, that is fantastic. All right, so let me... Oh, hello. Ah, it's actually an elevator. Okay, good to know. Uh, I was thinking to myself, did I just step on a trap? Did I just step on a trap? Am I going to die as a result of this? No, no, thankfully not. I think I might actually be able to use my special abilities when I've used this... This talisman, because you can see here, it might actually give me adrenaline. Um, I think. So let's see whether that's actually the case. If I fight some enemies or something like that. I mean, it should be pretty easy to switch between these two items. It is actually really easy to switch between these two. And now we can access absolutely all of these gates, which I am extremely excited about. Because that means that we're going to be able to go wherever we want to go now. And, yeah, we can actually go back into the dungeon, by the looks of things. The, into the, uh, the main portion of the dungeon. As you can see, we have now returned back to where we initially entered. So, that means... We can, uh, we can access all of those forbidden areas that we were unable to get to before. And I'm just going to check along here real fast, just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. These guys are going to attack... So we just want to make sure that they don't uh, they don't surprise me. No, no. Okay, so there's nothing over here. That's absolutely fine. And yeah, we will we will definitely be going back. So I'm gonna go up the stairs here. And I actually do have enough ashes, I think, to be able to level up once again. So I think I will probably do that. Going for kind of like a strength based build at the moment, by the looks of things. Ah, uh, hello, Mr. Skeleton. It's nice to see you again, sir. Hmm. Wait a minute. Remember? Haha, -ha, I think I may have just seen something. Is that a ladder? No. No, these are just supports. I was thinking to myself, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that a ladder? Because it would have been really cool if we would have been able to uh, get down there. Maybe I can jump down there? I, I'm going to assume probably not, but... You never know. Okay, yeah, so I have a huge amount of um, adrenaline now. As you can see, it seems like adrenaline has now been unlocked. So I should be able to use my special moves. So these are my special moves right here. I actually have no idea what that just did. Seems like maybe I gain a damage, damage buff or something. I might gain a damage buff from that or something like that. Living Ashes, there we go. We just got... Uh, another charge of this and uh, yeah you can see here that my adrenaline is now maxed out so I can use this so there's the shield bash and you can see that it used two adrenaline I don't know what the shield bash does I'm going to assume it's some kind of stun and this thing I don't even know what it has as a special ability let me just have a look mm, I uh, it has the skill of precision so I don't know what precision actually means but I'm going to assume that maybe it just makes us attack faster, or maybe it increases our critical chance, or something along those lines. Possibly. There we go. More pile of ashes. And I think... No, no, we've already been over there. Okay, so if I just go this way... Oh, hello. This is a new area. Okay, uh... 
Okay, thankfully there doesn't seem to be anyone here, so I was I was very worried there for a second, but it seems like we actually gained a significant amount of ashes just by going there, so that was good enough. Let's go to the traits. Let's see what I can unlock. I'm going to unlock some more strength. And we can get some more strength there as well. Precision. When using... Ah, there's precision. When using one-handed weapons, critical strike chance has increased by 5%. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so that's actually very cool. I like that. And we can also get ourselves vitality and things like that. We can also increase our wisdom if we want to. And there's a bunch of abilities down there that we could potentially get. So condition mastery would probably be really, really good. If I was going to play an intelligence-based build then condition would be uh, the way to go because obviously you're probably going to have fire-based attacks and, and things like that. Okay, so this is where we went before. So I went up before. So if I go down, where does that actually lead us? Okay, around here. Did I actually go down? Did I go up before? No, 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 no. Here we go. Here we go. It's completely new. Oh, hello. That's a fire-based entity or something i have no idea okay this guy literally had a uh, an incredible amount of hp and he's also able to summon magic okay uh, i really kind of wish that he would give me that magic please i think that would be that would be a lot of fun but it seems like he is not wanting to do that for whatever reason. He's being a stubborn oaf, isn't he? Yes, well, we did get a demonic helm for defeating him, so I suppose that's pretty nice. So let's actually just take a quick look at what it is. Okay, so quality normal. Uh, I'm using a superior helm at the moment. However, the demonic helm does have a socket and also provides you with extra ashes from kills 16%. So I, oh, actually, wait a minute. The skeletal helmet already does that. Wait a minute. So let me see if I equip this. Uh-huh. No, no. The skeletal helmet is much better. No. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I was reading this wrong. It's actually comparing the two helmets. Okay, never mind. It gives you 8% additional spell damage. Which is actually very good if you're going to use spells. Of course, I'm not using spells at the moment, so it doesn't really make much, much difference to me, but it's good nevertheless. Wait a minute. Is that a boss? That looks like a boss to me, actually. I'm going to just heal myself real quick. I'm just going to be very, very careful here. It feels to me like this is a boss. Ooh, okay, that was actually a lot easier than anticipated. I thought to myself, whoa, this guy's going to be real, real harsh. But uh, no, doesn't seem too difficult. But I think I, I think I just got lucky, actually. I think I just got lucky for the most part. All right, here we go. Got another rune there. Got more piles of ashes. We've got a pretty significant amount of ashes right now. I could probably level up once again. Is this where we just came from? Yes. This is where we actually exited. So let me just go around here again. Because I'm going to assume that there is definitely something here. There must be something here. Apart from just fighting that big enemy. Oh, hello. But of course, bear in mind, I do still have that entire other area to explore. Because we now have the key from Legar to be able to, uh, you know get to where we want to be to actually escape the dungeon and so on and so forth so is this guy still alive no no he's dead okay okay wait wait no ah yep yep okay take him down take him down 
Oh, he, he had a lockpick. Okay. The Ashen had a lockpick. Okay, that's very funny. All right. So, yes. Apart from that, I think that is all that is here. I think so, at least. I kind of... I want to explore some more. I want to explore some more. So, let me see. I, I think maybe that is indeed it. That's a, th that's a funny thing. I never want to miss any kind of secret. And wait a minute. There's a hole in the wall here. Oh my. This looks like an alternate dimension or something like that? It feels to me like that. All right. I guess what I'm going to do is I will just level myself up real fast. And let's see. 1300. Yeah, I guess we're going to go for that. There we go. Now we can actually get this trait uh, next, which is actually going to reduce my dexterity, but it will increase my strength. I'm actually pretty happy with doing that. So I will probably try to. Anyway, let's go through here and see where we end up. Who knows? Where is this? Ah, it's another spirit of some kind. I mean, we already have one spirit, but apparently the spirit does not follow me through here. Hmm. Okay. This, this looks, again, this looks like a boss area. That's a skeleton. Is that a, is that a real skeleton right there? I'm actually not entirely sure. No, none of these are real. But I'm just making sure. You never know, you know? You want to be in a situation where you get just absolutely murdered by 10,000 skeletons? No, no, you certainly don't. Okay. We've now got five charges of healing, which is very good. I will probably need it. And uh, let's have a look. Goblet is full of ashes. Upon touch, they still feel hot. Put hand into the ashes. Among the ashes, you found a ring. Ito's ring. Right. I'm on fire. Ito's, Ito's ring? Um, I mean, wh where is, where is that? Ah. Ito, the lonely wanderer from faraway lands. Tales of her skills as an archer invited much interest, but she always kept to herself and her own business. As such, her past and her purpose in Errant is shrouded in mystery. All right, well, that's that's intriguing. So what was that for? I have a feeling that maybe I'm going to be attacked as I start to make my way out of here, potentially. I mean, I was burning. I mean, I literally put my hand in some kind of flaming urn of some kind. Okay, wait a minute. Let me just move behind here. No, I can't go behind there. Okay. And there doesn't seem to be anything else going on here. Okay, very strange. Very strange. I would have expected 100% that to be a boss or something, but no. Okay, so that's the point. They're, they're probably just trying to lure me into a, a false sense of security, right? That's probably what's going on. Okay, well, uh, at least I've explored there. And now all that remains is for me to go back to the dungeon, right? And open up some of those gates. And then I will be able to explore further. But you know what? I've actually gotten hugely carried away with playing Back to Ashes. And so if you would like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. And otherwise, I thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.